Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make a League of Legends mod that is able basically to change anything you want. So to start off things nicely, you'll have to download some softwares. So as you can see right here, um, I'll of course put links in the description so that you can download them easily. Um, and so if you want to start making mods, the first thing you'll need is to use Obsidian. Once it's opened, you'll have to go to File, Open, and then scout for your League of Legends game files. So for example, here mine is in games. You have Red Games, League of Legends, you go to Game, Data, Final, Champions, and then you can find every single champion in the game. So every champion has two files. Uh, for example, here I have Aatrox.wad, which is uh, the champion's sounds. And I have also Aatrox.enus, and here it's the champion's voice. So the voice depends on your game's um, language. So for example, my game is in English, so Aatrox voice will be in English. But if you're playing in French, Portuguese, etc., um, the voice here is going to be different. So as an example for this tutorial, I'm going to modify Evelyn's uh, passive sound. So I simply need to select Evelyn.wad and then extract it somewhere uh, that's easy to find. Once you've found a file where you want to extract everything, you need to create a new file and name it the same way as the thing you just extracted. For example here, it's evelyn.wad, so I'm going to name it evelyn.wad. Then you extract everything in here. And so the name has to be the same. That's a, a key point of the tutorial. So now that I have this file, I can scout through everything. So all of this uh, is not useful for this tutorial, so you can delete it. Um, it basically allows you to change a, a champion's code, but it's not what we're doing here. And so then you have two uh, files left. In assets are the sounds and in data are the bins that you'll have to use to scout through the sounds. So in this first file is a bunch of other files and for now, because we are only modifying the sounds, you can straight up delete the other ones. So I'm simply going to keep the characters um, file because here, as an example, I want to modify Evelyn's Coven skin, but I don't really know which skin is the Coven skin because they are named skin 1, 5, 6, etc. So if you want to know which one is which, you simply go to characters, here there are a bunch of other characters, you select Evelyn, HUD, and then you can find every single HUD skin. So here the Coven one is uh, the 24th, and then you can straight up delete everything else. So character, I can delete that, and go back to sounds, SFX, and delete everything except the 24th skin. So once everything is done, you'll simply have to launch GUI, and then that's when the magic happens. So you have to select a bin file. So right here in Evelyn.wad, you go to data, characters, Evelyn, and its skins, and you pick what, whichever bin is used uh, for your sound. For, so for example, me, it was skin 24, so I pick skin 24 bin. Then you select the audio, that is in assets, and so that's the first thing we've done. So skin 24, you pick audio, you pick the event, and then you pass files. And so here you have a long thing, you simply click on the plus, and then you can see every single sound that is available to this skin. So for the sake of this tutorial, I simply want to modify Evelyn's passive. And it is listed simply as Evelyn passive, so you can scroll down here. But here, as you can hear, it's not her full ongoing passive that's playing, it's simply the moment when she's transforming. And so that's not what we want. And so here, uh, a key problem shows up, it's that the, um, the sounds usually have bad naming. So Evelyn passive demon clock, it doesn't really mean anything. And here, if you want to modify Evelyn's passive, you'll have to go to real-time processing. And here, there are a bunch of sounds. So here, my goal is to add a music to Evelyn's passive. And so once you scour through all of those files, you can find that this one is the one we want to modify. So I'm going to play it. And as you can hear, 
this one is great because it's a long file and it's really easy to replace it with the music. The other files are sort of weird. Because those are basically sounds that play around you while you are invisible. But we don't want to modify them, we want to modify the, the main sound. So once you've found it, you simply click on it and you click Extract Selection. So here I'm going to extract it uh, in my mod presentation file. And then it appears... Bruh. And then it appears right here. So once you have this file, it's uh, .wem, so you can't really do anything about it. And so that's why you have to download FUBAR2000. So we'll actually need FUBAR2000 to convert the WEM file into something that we can listen to. But on the base version, you can't actually do that. So we'll need to download uh, a plugin. The plugin is of course in the description. You select FUBAR2000 component. And once you've downloaded it, you just go to File, Preferences, you go to Install, and then you select the plugin that you've just downloaded, and it should be in here. So once this is done, you apply, OK, and then you simply drag the WEM file in here, you convert, quick convert, you select .wav, and you, you go convert right here, and boom. And so now you have it as a WAV file that you can actually listen to. So once you have this file, you can simply modify it using any software you want. So for as an example, I'm going to use um, Premiere Pro. So I simply drag it into here. And then I have the sound that I can modify. So when you're making a sound mod, you always have to be wary about uh, the sound length. Uh, for example, here I'm in luck because the sound only plays when Evelyn is invisible. So I can put a 20 minute song and it will cut when she's not invisible anymore. But usually, sounds don't cut. So, for example, if I modify, I don't know, Pantheon's Q, if I put a 10 second sound, it's going to play a 10 second sound every time I press Q. And it can really just be annoying. So, you have to really be careful about what you do. Another thing with uh, modifying sounds is that you have to be wary of the fact that some sounds are uh, being modified in-game uh, by some sort of code. So what I mean by that is, for example, uh, Evelyn's passive is 20% uh, slower when you play it in-game. So when you modify the sound like this, you will have to accelerate the, the sound you modify by around 20% so that it can play at normal speed in-game. And so those issues, you really can't find them unless you test the mod yourself. So that's why, as a tip, you always have to test your mods. That's, that maybe seems mandatory for some people, but I know a lot of people don't test their mods. At least you can, you can guess that they don't, because there are some blatant issues that aren't fixed. And so always test your mods, it's a, it's a great thing. Some sounds are slower in-game, faster in-game, have some distortions. So it's always nice to, to be able to know what Riot did because they do some weird shit. And another weird shit is that, for example, uh, the entire thing I said about Evelyn's passive being slower in-game, I think it does not apply to the Coven skin. So here I can just let it be at 100% speed. But if you want to modify her base skin, uh, you'll have to accelerate it. And those exceptions uh, work on a lot of champions. So if you have trouble, maybe ask for some people. Uh, you can ask me on this call, for example. I'm always pleased to help people. So now that you have your modified sound, it is in a WAV format. So that means you can't just put it back in the game. You have to have it as a WEM. And we can't just use FUBAR2000 to do this. And so we'll have to download WISE right here on this audio kinetic site. So you'll have to make an account and it's kind of boring. And also you have to download the 2016 version right here, the 2016.2.6, because that's the version Riot Games is using to make League of Legends. So now that you have downloaded everything and that your software is running, you'll have to make some key modifications to the project. So here we go to project, project settings, we'll go to source settings, and you have to select Vorbis quality high. So right here. And basically, it allows the mod to work. If you export your sounds not using Vorbis Quality High, it won't work in-game. It will simply play nothing. 
And so once this is done, you can simply import audio files. So I'm going to choose the one I just modified. I open it, I click import, and then I convert everything. Okay. So once you have converted the file, you'll actually have to find it on your PC. So you go to project, import audio file, and here is the destination. Simply have to right click, open containing folder, and then you have a bunch of weird sounds. So here, you don't have to go in SFX, you just go back, go back, and here you go to Cache, Windows, SFX, and then you can find some things I did. So here, for example, the Giga Chat sound was for my Cassante mod, so I can just straight up delete it, I don't need it anymore. And here I have the Coven sound. So as you can see, our file now has some extra characters at the end of its name, and it's actually not a problem. You don't have to pay attention to this, um, the file's name has no influence on the mod. So now you can just take GUI again, and you click replace WAM data, and here is the base file I had, and I go to conversion again, cache, windows, SFX, and I can just replace it. And so now if I listen to the sound, I can clearly see that it works. So that's a great thing. And so now, once everything is done, you just click on the first thing, save as BNK, and here it's going to replace the first one. So you simply say yes. And now, basically your mod is done. And so right here, my evelyn.wat file is complete. So I've changed everything I want, but it's not quite a mod yet. It's simply a file on my computer. So what I need to do is to launch CSLOL Manager right here. And then you create a new mod. So now that you've made your description for your mod, you simply save it. And then it's going to ask you for files. So you pick the one you've made, drag it, and now and now you'll have evelyn.wat.client. And so it means that everything is done. You can simply close it. Then you'll search for it. And you can run the game and test it in-game. So now I'm actually not going to test it because I have a main issue. It's pretty simple, it means being poor. Hell no, man. What the fuck? So I don't have the Coven skin, so I can't test it. So it's actually pretty easy. I'm simply going to take the same sound and put it on Evelyn's base passive so I can test it. So if you want to make your mod work for every single skin, you'll have to modify it by hand. So here, for example, I'm going to pick a base skin audio with the bin. So I can pass file again and I have a base sounds and I can simply find time processing on again, find the file again and modify everything again. So it can take quite some time if you want to do it for every single skin. And we'll also have to take into account the fact that some skin don't behave the same way as other skins. So as I told before, Evelyn's passive acts weirdly on her base skin and is actually slower. So I also have to modify it so it's faster in-game etc. It's quite a pain. Okay, so now that we are in-game, I'm simply going to level up my character. And it seems to be working. So if you want to modify the volume, you can simply turn it up or down, but you'll have to be aware that some spells have uh, caps on the, the volume. And so some sounds will always be low and some sounds will always be high. And so when this happens, you'll have to find a way to bypass it. Usually what I do is I simply modify another sound. So here, if this one was very, very low, I would have simply modified the sound made when she transforms and not the actual sound. But it, it usually comes with some other complications. So yeah, sometimes with some champions, for example, making a Cassante mode was very hard because it's a new champion and uh, Riot m put some new things that disturbs modding as a whole because the sounds end early. And so I can't modify everything. If I modify it, the sound lasts for one second instead of 20 seconds. And so it's ma it makes things very hard to do. So now that I've tested my mod and know that it works, I can simply quit the game and export it to the entire world. So now that you have your mod, you simply have to export it. 
And so usually I remove this part because nobody cares about the version or who I am. So I remove it and then you can simply save it. So I usually save my mods in a simple file that I made for it. So it's called mods. And I have everything in here because it, it makes things way easier. I recommend you do the same. And so once you have your mods, you just upload it to anything. It could be Mediafire, it could be Google Drive, it could be anything. So yeah, this tutorial is now over. I really hope it helped you make something you really wanted to do for a long time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!